Hey guys, it's Puxbro. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get lead in Fallout 76. I'm going to show one location where you can get lead in its raw ore form, and then you can mine it in large quantities, and then uh, scrap it down using acid to get the actual lead it's scrapped itself. And then I'll show an alternate method where you can loot a bunch of things and then scrap it down into lead, which will not need as much acid or will not need acid at all. Um, so this is gonna be the two methods, but like always, I'll put a bunch of other methods in the description and a link to a Google document that'll give you a full breakdown of um, where you can find lead and where you can find a lot of other materials. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with the first location, which is going to be Lucky Hole Mine. And Lucky Hole Mine is going to be near Fort Defiance in the bottom right of the map in the Cranberry Bog. A little bit to the left of the Cranberry Bog, there's going to be this right here, Lucky Hole Mine. So we're going to go ahead and head there right now. And it's probably easiest to fast travel the foundation and then, uh, you know, travel to somewhere over here to save cats. Or you can just walk to the foundation if you don't have anything close. But well, let's get to it. All right, so we've arrived at the Lucky Hole Mine. There's going to be a little bit of enemies on the outside. But once you take out the enemies, we can go ahead and actually enter the mine itself through this door right here. And it's going to be in this little hangar looking uh, building. All right, and once we are inside, there's going to be some more enemies. Um, but I just want to go ahead and really read off really quick how much ore we can actually get from this mine. So we should be able to get 40 lead. Um, or it says 40 lead veins, and I might be able to link a interior map as well. Um, but essentially you want to go around the entire mine and loot all of the lead that you can. If you're wearing excavator power armor, it'll do you even better because you'll get double yields from veins. Um, I do believe you only need the excavator torso. You don't actually need any other piece. You don't even need the arms. Um, it would make more sense, and it says in like in like um, and it hints that the arms give extra mining, but the bonus seems to only be applied when you're wearing the torso. Um, and I'll go ahead and verify that. All right, so here we have some lead. Let me go ahead and de-equip some of my power armor pieces, and I'll kind of give you guys a demonstration of the bonuses. So we can test on this one. Boom, four lead added. I take off the torso. Boom, one lead added. So it is indeed not the arms that matter, uh, but just the torso. And we can just go ahead and collect the rest of this. Boom, four. Every time you collect from it, it's gonna give you four instead of one. It's a really big good, it's a really big increase. So I highly recommend using excavator torso if you're gonna be taking this route for lead. Um, but yeah, so you essentially want to explore the entire uh, mine and keep going deeper, look around on the walls and kind of look around for the lead. And keep in mind that you are still gonna have to use the acid to go ahead and break this down. So if you don't have the acid, then perhaps this isn't the best method for you. I think you guys kind of get the idea for the mine. You kind of just have to explore. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the other method, which is just to be, uh, which is just a loot location and scrap down all of the material. And then you can always server hop that location. I believe ore nodes are not server hoppable. It actually has like a, a time reset, like attached to your character. So it's this isn't gonna be as farmable. It might yield more in one go, but um, but it does take the acid. So it's kind of a trade-off. If, if you have the acid, then this is probably gonna be the best method to do once, and then you can do the second method. If you don't have the acid, then just do the second method, and then you can keep uh, repeating and farming it by server hopping. All right, and the next method that I'm going to showcase in this video is going to be looting the Eastern Regional uh, Penitentiary. And essentially, there's going to be a bunch of weights at this area, and then we can take those weights and scrap them down into lead. And this method, no acid, easy to rinse and repeat if you server hop. So let's go ahead and head there. Now I'm going to use Vault 76 as a cheaper uh, place to travel to. All right, so we have arrived. And from this location, we're gonna be looking for the prison yard outside. And we're gonna be looking for the first floor of cell block A inside. And from total, we can collect eight can chimes. We can collect two uh, 160 pound barbells, one 80 pound barbell, one 40 pound barbell, and three 20 uh, pound bar uh, dumbbells, and then five, two five pound weights, and then two makeshift batteries. Um, for I think 133 lead it says. So this area is going to be pretty good to just kind of keep farming and rinsing and repeating. There are going to be a little bit of enemies here, so um, I guess prepare for a fight. So this is an example of the can chimes. We can go ahead and disarm that and it'll give us 10 cans for lead. These are some more chain chimes or can, can chimes. 
And this is where you can find all of the dumbbells. I had to kind of server hop a couple times, but this is the main courtyard pretty much in the back of the building. Just keep in mind, there's it's pretty well guarded. There's gonna be super mutants on all of the towers and some on the ground, mostly with rifles and whatnot. But you can grab these uh, dumbbells, each of these, just grab them. And then you can take them over here. And there's gonna be a workshop area. And um, here we can just scrap them down. So it might make you heavy because of how many dumbbells there are, but then you can scrap them down on site. Um, so yeah, so you wanna look around this little courtyard area um, and get the dumbbells and get some of the can chimes. And then we can go ahead and head on inside. All right, and now that we're inside, we're gonna be looking for cell block A and there's some more can chimes. And there's gonna be quite a bit of ghouls in here. So you can get a lot of lead, but there's gonna be a decent amount of mobs. So I guess you can kind of farm XP at the same time. Um, or if you're really good at it and you know the pathing after a couple times, you can um, just sprint past them. And down here, you can see there's also some workbenches. So if you do get encumbered, feel free to come down here and or and scrap down all of your um, materials. All right, and so we are pretty much on the first floor of cell block A. If you see a door that says cell block B, that means you're in A. If you see a door that says cell block A, then you want to walk through this and then you're in cell block A, if that makes sense. Um, but through here, you pretty much want to just loot around and we can get a lot of chimes. But most of the lead is going to be outside with the dumbbells. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and showcase another area, which I think is going to be a bit less hostile, a bit less combat, um, but is still going to be able to yield a lot of lead. And it's going to pretty much be a gym. So the next location after the uh, Eastern Regional Penitentiary is going to be actually the Flatwoods Motel, which is going to be down here from Vault 76 by this Green Country sign. Right here is Flatwoods, but we're going to be looking for the motel specifically. So this is the motel, it is officially called the Green Country Lodge, but aka Flatwoods Motel. And we can go ahead and find the gym here and loot it for a bunch of dumbbells, and dumbbells equal lead. So on the first floor, you're gonna just wanna go ahead and head towards the corner. That kind of meets both uh, the angle essentially, and there's gonna be a room right here. And you can see this room is already kind of set up. It looks like a place where somebody would be lifting a dumbbell. And it looks like it's already looted on this server though. So I'm gonna go ahead and server hop. All right, so I went ahead and server hopped and you can see that there's a uh, array of dumbbells here, 20 pound dumbbells, five pound dumbbells, 160 bearer bells, barbells, but essentially you just wanna go ahead and loot all of these and then you can scrap it down for lead. And the enemies here are much more manageable than compared to the super mutant spawn at the uh, penitentiary. I would say that the only downside to this spot is that there's no ease of access to a workbench that you can scrap down the pounds. So if you don't have enough carrying capacity to carry all these weights, you mole rat just broke my leg. My power armor leg. But yeah, so if you don't have enough weight to carry all of these dumbbells, then you're going to have to walk deeper into flat woods encumbered in order to actually scrap them down and then fast travel. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will mention that there is also a, another method that I won't really showcase, but essentially there's gonna be different ore nodes of lead on the map that you can build your camp next to. And if you build your camp next to an ore node, then you can actually build a resource harvester and place it on top of the uh, ore node in your camp. And then you can just harvest lead endlessly from your camp um so that's a method i have a link in the description to a map that'll show all the nodes for all different resources so you can kind of pick out a spot that has lead and there might be a spot that has lead and acid the spots i mentioned in the video are what i think is the best um but like always i'll add some more areas in the description if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know in the comment section below any positive or negative feedback also let me know that way i can improve and until next time